voice stuff as a movie this week. Oh, the creature wore a tutu. No, <laughs> too highbrow for my audience. <laughs> hey, it came from out of state. Maybe, has possibilities. Whoa, monstroid. <laughs> this sounds horrible. I'll have to play this. <clears throat> Hello, darling. Uh, howdy. Howdy. I didn't uh, know we were on. Nobody told me we were on. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll just uh, jump right up here on the sofa. My top. And <laughs> oh, golly, imagine my embarrassment. <laughs> Getting caught picking my Moody Mac in public. How goes Shay? How goes Shay? <laughs> oh, and all they had to do was give me a standby. <laughs> Oh, of course, you just caught the tail end of a long and tedious process. It ain't just a matter of sifting through a few film cans to pick what's worst. I mean, what works. Uh, no, it's not quite that easy. Sometimes I spend hours doing this. Then on the other hand, sometimes I spend hours doing my nails, so I guess it all comes out in the wash. Okie doke, uh, just a little insight there in what it's really like to be the mistress of the dark. Right now it's showtime, and I'll just let my cans up to the projection booth. <laughs> More Mistress of the Dark work. And uh, we'll have this sucker all threaded up and ready to go. <laughs> What's it called? Uh, it's called, uh, <clears throat> why not just let it be a surprise? <laughs> okay, for this one. Here it comes. Oh, good dog, good dog. Now, now throw it back. Good dog. <laughs> you know, now that I think about it, I remember reading something about this story in one of those newspapers you pick up at the checkout line in the market, you know? <laughs> okay, boy. Okay. Catch! Good dog! Oh! <laughs> you crazy dog. You gotta learn how to throw. And when they print something in one of those newspapers, you know, it is the truth. Like, how I lost 600 pounds in two weeks, or, or Hervé Villachez secretly marries E.T. You couldn't print that stuff if it wasn't true, you know? So anyway, I think they were calling this one the El Loco Nesso Monstro story. You remember it? <laughs> okay, boy, one more time. Catch! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> oh, he, he kind of overshot that one when he jumped up for it. Yeah, I, I know the feeling. Well, I've been taking a few of those midnight swims alone lately my own darn self. Oh, it's tough losing out like that to the town virgin, ain't it? And another thing. Now, who the heck could that be? <sighs> Hello, Elvira, swimmer in the dark. <clears throat> Hello, Elvira? Well, what do you know? It ain't that wild and wacky, crazy old Mr. B. Yeah, I was just wondering, uh... Do you have anything on for tonight? <laughs> yeah, but don't get excited, because I'm keeping it on. Oh, bummer. Bad trip. Totally. Hey, well, uh, are you ready for another the rib tickler? <laughs> It'll just make my week. Just go ahead, breather. I can hardly wait. Okay. What goes ha, 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 plop? Ha, 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 plop? Yeah, ha, 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 plop. That's a guy laughing his head off. <laughs> this must be the Atlantic Cable. Stupid me. I thought it was just another one of those darn kids from the village wearing a monster mask. <laughs> well, what the heck. It looks like Laura's troubles are behind her now. She found someone else to go skinny dipping with down at the lake. Did I say someone else to go skinny dipping with? Make that something else. Hey, this is based on a true story, don't forget. True story. Okay, the lakeside annex continue after the advertisers get in their strokes. It's Monstroid here on Movie. Yeah, that's telling his sister. Or is that asking him? <laughs> well, no matter. I was just sitting here wondering if there ain't something you can take for Monstroids. Like, Maybe Preparation M or something? Boy, I tell you, this movie is so darn bad that right now I wouldn't even mind getting another phone call from Breather. No, I know, I know. Two of his six stupid jokes in one night might be a little hard to stomach. But 
It wouldn't be half as bad as trying to stomach this movie. I mean, this has got to be the worst piece of... Do you think? Could it be? Hello, Breather, is that you? Breather? Uh, don't, don't hang up if it, if it is. Oh, oh, it, it ain't crazy, old Mr. B, after all. Uh, you say you must have dialed the wrong number? Because you really wanted Harry's liquor? Hey, I wouldn't mind some of Harry's liquor my own darn self. <laughs> oh, hey, hey, listen, uh, I, I know you dialed the wrong number, but why don't, you, uh, why don't you just stay and talk to me for a little while? Uh, what do you mean? W what will we talk about? H how about, uh, how about the weather? Uh, uh, nice weather we're having, ain't it? <laughs> um, uh, wait, let's try this. Uh, hey, what's your sign, baby? <laughs> uh, 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 what is your favorite color, maybe? Uh, uh, do you phone here often? Hey, no, wait, wait, listen, listen, listen. I really am a great conversationalist once I, once I think of something to say. Uh, I, I, I once, once had a, what, hello, hello? I've been saying here? let's get this show on the road for the last hour and a half. But does anybody ever listen to me? No. Unfortunately for that bruja, nobody listened to her either. Why didn't she just say, okay, so I'm a witch. I'll just jump in my broom and blow. Oh, and what about that guy Sanchez? You know, the one that got himself blown to smithereens? Why didn't he just snuff out the fuse on that dynamite until he got his foot loose? He didn't think of that. <laughs> okay, here's the part I like best. It's when I get to put this microphone of mine to work and ask a few viewers to express their opinions on the movie. Uh, excuse me, would you care to tell us exactly what you think of Monstroid? Oh, it's ridiculous. Uh, thank you very much for that candid view. <laughs> Uh, uh, you, Padre, uh, as a man of the cloth, how do you feel about the way the producers chose to tell this story? Sinful ways, my child. Uh, thanks, Padre. Uh, let's get one more opinion, okay? <clears throat> uh, oh, you, sir, uh, would you care to tell us how you feel about the movie? You don't want to put it on your little TV camera. Okay, that's it. Just a sampling of how some of you, the viewers, feel about Monstroid. Film at 10. Hey, so what happened to the credits? Couldn't they get the letters OID to fit on the screen or something? The movie was supposed to be Monsteroid, not Monster. What the heck kind of a name for a movie is Monster? Stupid, that's what. Uh, y you don't think we threaded up the wrong movie by mistake, do you? Well, what if we did? Big deal. What about all them giant eggs? They have the end or is it written all over them? Who'd have figured that monsteroid or whatever it was to be a mother? <laughs> Not with that Fu Manchu mustache, but those eggs had to come from somewhere. Just think if somebody finds them before they all hatch, there'll be huevos rancheros for the whole darn village. And let us not forget this story was based on fact, <laughs> based on the fact that for a dollar three eighty you don't get much of a movie. Well, that's it for this week's Movie Mac. Maybe you did deserve a break today, but you ain't getting it from me. <laughs> and just remember this. I got paid to sit through this stinker. You don't have an excuse. <laughs> well, next week. Well, next week's another week. And maybe, just maybe, we'll come up with something better to run than Monsteroid. Maybe, but don't hold your breath. <laughs> Holding your breath for that length of time is bound to give you nothing but unpleasant dream. Ha, ha, ha.